going to show you how to prepare pan fried wet goat meat that you can serve with ugali rice or any side dish you'd like and here we have already washed goat meat then we have blended tomatoes our green capsicum and red capsicum we have diced red bulb onion with garlic and then we have coriander leaves with green chili the green chili is just below that my source of fat is ghee and then here i have mixed spices that i just mix inside this bowl we have curry powder garam masala a beef roco cubes and salt just for test so let's get to it the pan is hot and then we gently transfer the goat meat and stir it up at this point i'm not adding anything it's just the meat uh, i just want to make sure the moisture you see that water until uh, it's golden brown with no water so i'll keep stirring like that for some time it's already changing the color the meat already has water in it so i just want to drain that water out of the meat so that the cooking process can be faster so i have to keep on stirring so that I get to turn all the sides of the meat until there's no water. As you can see, the meat is slowly changing its color. So I just want to drain all the water from the meat so that the cooking process will be easier. And I'm going to do that by just covering it for some minutes. I'll let it just simmer for some time. After covering it for three minutes, you can see the meat has really changed. It says as if it reduced because it has drained its water. I haven't added any water. This is the water from the meat. And I'm still going to cover it for some time until the water is completely drained and then you continue from there finally the water is all drained out of the meat and you're going to continue with the cooking process so fast we're going to add the ghee which is also fat in this process you can use any type of cooking oil you like or any other sort of fat that you like so we're just going to stand in it golden brown our goat meat is finally turning brown so I'm going to add the next ingredient which is onions and garlic. And then keep stirring it also. Until the onions are golden brown. Just make sure you have plenty of onions. That's where the taste of the taste will come from. Our onions are there 
you don't have to really make it that golden brown we're going to have the blended tomatoes red capsicum and green capsicum Then we cover it, lower the heat, and then we leave it for two minutes. I'm sorry, my camera didn't record the two steps. The one that I added spices after leaving it for two minutes, when I added uh, blended tomatoes, red capsicum, and green capsicum. So after that, I added the spices that I had mixed earlier. Then add a small amount of water, and this is where we are. I thought I had actually recorded, but I think it didn't record, so I missed it. And then we're going to leave this to cook for 15 minutes on low heat. So I'm going to reduce the heat and leave it to cook on low heat for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, the wet fryer is ready. Time to add the coriander leaves and the green chili. served it with turmeric rice, pan fried vegetables and then we have our pan fried wet goat meat. I hope you'll enjoy. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you haven't subscribed so that you'll be notified next time I share another video. Bye!